people here in Pennsylvania uh-huh. doing Thanksgiving. Uh, but before we go out, just want to uh, take time out and bring up some uh, some stuff from this young man called Jerry Fastfoot from Tenace. I met this young man about in the in the, in the eighties, a couple of times in the Bishop Ford tournaments, uh, Joy Santa Maria, uh, Gio Arlen, and uh, I was impressed. You know, I mean, uh, I got into the point fighting, but then I got into the kickboxing, held my titles there, and uh, this kid, just watching this kid was very impressive. I mean, this kid has some good legs, fast, but don't. Uh, Underestimate his hands. His hands is also lightning. When you fight Jerry Fontanez, man, you look like you're fighting an octopus. You know, there's so many techniques coming out of everywhere. You know, I pray that he continues doing his thing. And uh, he's still doing his thing, I believe, because I know he motivates a lot of people. He sure motivates me. Every time I see one of his videos, you know, even if it's like stretching basic stuff, it still motivates me because me, I like basics. That's what's going to win. And Jerry got a lot of basic stuff, man. And he's he he's a good guy. I mean, I met him, very nice, polite, you know. And like I said, don't underestimate his fighting skills. You know, everybody says he got good legs, fast, but uh, don't underst- underestimate his hands either, cause his hands is <laughs> lightning also, you know. And I want to continue, you know, blessing him and hoping that he continue doing his thing. You know, he's a ble- he's a bless to the martial arts. From me to you, Jerry, us, and continue the hard work and the motivation.